This week I'm living out my best childhood fantasy. I'm feeling like a pink Power Ranger, honey. I always wanted to be the pink Power Ranger. Let's just get into these readings, honey. Hey girl. <laughs> my pink Power Ranger powers are just too much for this singing ball. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today, Leo, I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading. Now, if you find any cards in this weekly general tarot reading that resonate with you, Leo, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all, Leo, through the comments. As well, Leo, I would like to ask for you, if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you, to take the extra step to um, give this channel a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, Leo, and I was in super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel that way i apologize i just chugged a bunch of starbucks honey <laughs> leo uh before i came into y'all's reading oh. <laughs> let me just wrap up my normal spiel so such uh sagittarius leo um just as a quick reminder i don't believe my readings or any tarot reading should be tarot cards should be making decisions in your life because it's your life to live not mine not these tarot cards not any tarot reader that you receive a reading from i believe tarot cards should be there to give uh, some food for thought, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week, but never making the decision for you because it's your life to live. So you have to be the one that live with your action, that lives with your actions. And so, with all that being said, my beautiful Leos, let's get your objective card for this week, and then we'll just jump into your weekly general tarot reading and see what's up. You guys actually start out, Leo, with the Three of Cups. This is a card of happiness. This is a card of celebration, Leo. So this is really a time. You know, when I say the objective card as well, Leo, um, I mean, what I mean by this is this is the card that the energy that you want to be exuding, the energy that you want to be working towards this week. So definitely, this is a time to be kind to yourself, Leo. This is not the time for you to, um, be hard on yourself in the sense of being like, oh, because like with you guys, Leo, especially, I know you guys are pretty prone to being extremely critical of yourselves because you guys hold yourself up to a pretty extreme standard. And if you don't meet that standard, that really extreme standard that you, oh, I'm stretching, <laughs> Leo, I'm just making myself comfortable, honey, with y'all. If you don't meet that extreme standard that you set for yourself, Leo, um, the disappointment and the criticalness that you might have towards yourself, um, it's pretty intense so let's let's be more forgiving of ourselves this week let's not um set ourselves up for failure right let's take this week to really just be present leo take this time to really just be kind to yourself i guess yeah but with this narrative, we'll get into why I feel like it's more so about you being kind to yourself in a moment, Leo. But we have the Emperor card coming in for you. And now the Emperor card... Now the Emperor card, <laughs> Leo, is all about that proactivity. It is all about you, Leo, taking action. Now... With this card, Archangel Michael as well. I don't think I told you number four, so write that down for numerology, um, Leo, and to look it up later. Now, with Archangel Michael, he usually will come in when it's, he's trying to bring forth some type of structure in your life. He will come forward in your life when um, you are needing to, uh, how would we say this, Leo? You, this would be a time where it's just like... <sighs> The, the intent is good, right? Or, yeah, the intent is good, but there needs to be a little bit more refinement. Uh, there's more refinement that needs to be had, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So with this Queen of Pentacles and the Magician card coming in as the pairing energy for this as well, uh, Leo, this is letting me know that you guys... This is more about the self-care, creating more time for self-care, essentially. Um, that's what the refinement needs to happen in because it's like with the magician, you're manifesting, right? The magician is all about like the master of all suits. The magician acknowledges, oh my gosh, the struggle bus trying to get these words out right now. <laughs> um, the magician, yeah, it's just all about the creation. And so when you pair it with the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles as well is all about that creation. And something I want to point out as the theme here, uh, Leo, is that, you know, how I was talking about that overcritical nature you have, um, 
the cards that you have coming in with this message that I have for you, these are all powerhouses. These are all very self-sustaining cards, cards that the individuals, archetypes that are able to very easily take care of themselves. But in this dynamic, Queen of Pentacles also is like more, like spoils herself more. She, you know, so normally this is, so let's just put this into like real life examples, Leo, just to get the message out there. Let's just say that you're a workaholic and you never spend your money. This is like a time or a week for you, um, Leo, to really start, take this week and just like be okay with being able to spend a little bit of money on yourself. Be okay with spending um, extra time with yourself, right? Take this time to be selfish, I guess is essentially what this these cards are trying to say, Leo. Take this time to be selfish. Take this time to appreciate the work that you put into your life um, rather than being uh, waking up every day and finding things that you should be working on in your life and being critical about. Instead, take this time to be like, oh, you get what the point that I'm trying to make, right? Leo, so let's continue on with this message. We have the page of coins coming in for you. So with the, why is this page of coins here actually for you, Leo? Because with this, this could be in a couple different ways. Is this about communication or is this about like something being offered to you? We have the clarifiers for this page of pentacles, the two of wands, king of wands, and then the emperor card following you. So definitely continuing on with this powerhouse energy. Definitely with this type of dynamic, this is all about creation. Well, all about creation, Leo. So for some of you guys, it seems like you guys are afraid of taking a break because right now it does seem to be like the energy is really good for you right it does seem like the energy is really good for you mm, but dare i say i did hear this <laughs> i'm like looking at the <laughs> processing these cards in front of you dare i say leo this is kind of talking about because with this emperor card following you this is about another message really honing in on proactivity, taking action, taking a leadership, like going forward with something. Now, with this and this two of wands and this king of wands, this is almost like being like, go, 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 take proactive um, steps, take, uh, go forward with some type of passionate goal, with some type of ambitious goal of yours, Leo. So it's interesting in this dynamic because it's like, then we could take this in reading in a completely different way of where it's just like this is the time for you to really start um putting energy into your own personal projects right this could be a, such as because i was looking at this essentially at the first as where it's just like okay like this is like such powerhouse energy such really good energy such creation like creative energy but um I saw this initially as just like you guys needing to take a break from this energy and being like, oh, okay. But looking at these other cards here, dare I say, Leo, that you guys need to like, there's something in your head, something that you're wanting to do that you need to make more time for. And it's like a personal thing to you. It's not like you going to someone else's job and putting more work, more hours into like working overtime at a different, like a nine to five or something. This is all about, um, you know, if you wanted to be like a streamer, um, Leo is something that I'm hearing. So you want to be like a streamer. If you wanted to do, I don't know. There's just such a, this push of just like guys needing to do something and continuing on with this, you have the chariot card as well. So I'm going to pull up more clarifiers of this, Leo, but it's just like so much forward movement, so much action, so much fire energy. This is the most fiery reading I've done. Um, for any of the fire signs, for the, for any of either the other two fire signs, rather, I guess, Leo. So this is just extremely interesting to me because, like, it's like, yeah, maybe you needed to take a break, but you needed to maybe take a break from your nine to five so you can make more time for something else that you feel extremely passionate about. Yeah, this is confirming it. So the clarifiers, Leo, that I have for you for this chariot come in with the Ten of Cups as well as the Six of Cups 
and then the star card so yeah this is you there's just like this really forward push of being like make time make the time make the time leo make the time to tend to some personal thing of yours because six of cups comes in here lets me know if just like this is something you've wanted for a very long time leo this is like one of those like childhood dreams childhood goals um and this ten of cups comes in with the star card like these the, the, this is like it's like one of those things of being like all you ever wanted to do leo was just to be insert whatever it is that you wanted to do and there's spirits like almost saying it's like now is the time now is the time for you to really start taking action and doing this leo so it's just like to me from my perspective leo i don't really know what else to say about this other than doing it <laughs> i guess um I, i'm kind of confused as to like because from the cards perspective i'm seeing just such a an extremely positive reading and being like not only extremely positive but it's just like very fast very forward movement not really much waiting at all um and it brings forth a lot of happiness with that ten of cups and you're fully capable of doing it and i don't think you're not thinking that you're capable like, i see you being fully acknowledging that you're capable of doing it but there i guess i that is like dismissing the leo because the star card does is the card like while the star is like the wish fulfillment card leo it is like a star that's like it seems so close but so far away and it's like almost like you can just almost touch it but you never can touch it so maybe for some of you leos you feel like it's unreachable but and maybe that's why you're not taking action but i don't know leo this is just so interesting to me so let's look on the other side of this we have the six of our uh, six of cups five of cups coming in here now what is this five of cups about why is this here in the first place mm -mm. these cards come out so ace of cups nine of cups eight of wands and then justice card so for these clarifiers this is kind of telling me a storyline that like again we're just like needing to like put distance between yourself and something else that like you're not really too happy about right you didn't want to necessarily do this is like i keep hearing it's just like oh, i wish it didn't have to be this way it's something that i'm hearing um and so with this eight of wands here um this is you kind of like letting go of things but it's also you grabbing up at another opportunity so it's just like you're letting go of one wand to grab up at these other wands that are better serve of a better service to you and that's how you bring things into balance the justice card this lets me know uh leo that for a lot of you guys you guys were just like working that old job there's something that you guys are investing your energy into currently that sure yeah maybe provides for you maybe sustains you on some level but it's not long lasting it's kind of like those empty calories almost so this could be like a person this could be um like a job i as i've been speaking but it's just like something that you it's, you know, it's like feeding energy into, like, a relationship that you know is not going to go anywhere, but you don't want to, like, be single, right? So it's just, like, you know in order to, like, actually find, like, a thriving relationship after, to you know, to find, like, a better connection or whatever, you have to let go of what it is that you're putting current energy into. But it doesn't feel good, right? But you know you need to do that to uh, bring things into balance to, like, open yourself up to for anybody else in the first place, right? Well, I mean, I guess you don't have to when it comes to a person. That's, But, honey, I don't want no cheaters in my channel. <laughs> right? We're not. You're not coming into my channel, honey, trying to find justifications for cheating, darling. No, no, no. If you want to be out away from... This is the side rant no one even asked for. <laughs> Reset, Velcro. Let's address these two other clarifiers. I'm just kidding. I don't really have to. Well, I have my own personal opinion about no one again is asking. This is the coffee speaking, honey. I don't have, I know people do have their reasons for why they do certain things. So I don't want it to come off as if you ever cheated, um, Leo, that I'm like, I don't want you in my channel. Like, I'm fully like, I don't like the action itself, but I'm not going to just have the action itself blind me to like the story that might be involved. Why am I explaining? <laughs> 
I'm sorry, Leo. I'm always so silly for you guys. Um, anyways, uh, ignoring that side seal. Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups comes in as like doing something for yourself. The Nine of Cups comes in very, this is a very specific card to come in, Leo. This is a very key component because this is, again, is not other people involved. This is, again, making decision, decisions just for yourself, your own happiness. Very much so similar to that Queen of Pentacles. This is all about the self, um, Leo. Ace of Cups and the, yourself, the self is all about that happiness. So it's just like, you know, you have to like leave that job. You have to leave this person that just is like, oh, right? You know, you may have like a nine of cups situation with them, but it's not 10 cups, right? You're trying to get to that 10 cups. And I know you're trying to get to that 10 cups because that 10 cups was right next to your chariot or not your chariot your 10 of cups so that's the thing it's just like yeah your current situation it's nine cups or it's five cups right but it's not that 10 that you're trying to get to it's not that 10 that's with that star card honey and so this lets me know leo where it's just like the next step the only way to get to that 10th cup is by letting go of the things that limit you from having 10 cups fully right um so but this is all about under the umbrella of action. This is all about from doing these things from a place of celebration, Leo. This is making more sense to me now as to why you want to own this energy and have it be like a time of celebration because it's just like, I thought I almost dropped it, honey. Um, because it's like spirit saying, it's just like, no, this is a good celebratory time. You're finally taking steps you're finally releasing things that aren't for you you're finally quitting this old job yeah that can be like a sad thing you're finally putting distance between you and this unfulfilling relationship yeah that can be like a ugh, thing to deal with but this is on the nate like it should be something you're celebrating because it's like it's kind of like signing the divorce papers and be like yeah i guess you can be unhappy about it but it's just like you signing those divorce papers leo opens your life up to everything else right see the growth in it right empress card comes in darling <laughs> i wanted i was waiting to last for this to use as the last card because it's like yeah the emperor emperor and now we get the empress garland so um yeah the empress is all about giving birth to things and really being in tune with the world and being open to the lessons right so let's get more clarification of the empress Take really, take this week in stride, Leo. You know, take this week in stride. Take this week, just all, the only question, the only thing you need to refer to is just being like, how does this make Leo feel? Because that's only, that's the only thing that matters. The clarifiers we have for your Empress card, right? Did I ever show? I think I did. But I never gave you guys a moment to stare at it. Um, clarifiers we have for it is the Knight of Cups, the Hermit card, and the Six of pentacles so yeah you're putting your energy this is the time to go out on your own hermit i mean how much more solo dolo can we get of a card than the hermit card uh leo right so this is a card where it's just like don't don't surround don't allow outside influences in your space right now leo <sighs> this is a time for you to like go inwards and find stuff that actually like allow things to come into your life and only welcome in things into your life that actually give you like that equal give and take that is, you know, that actually sustains you, right? This is definitely a time of, for you, Leo, this, dare I say, this is going to be your biggest struggle, uh, Leo, will be on like how selfish you'll make yourself feel for doing these things this week is what i guess is what i'm trying to say is like this this is a week where you probably will easily feel like your most selfish your most like dare i say like this would be like such an easy week for you to be gaslit just because it's like um such a i don't want to say you're insecure leo but it's almost like the things that you have to do, the steps that you have to take it's all about just with you you know you, there's no one else involved in it there's nothing um like it's kind of being like there's nothing quite like hmm because it's just asking for more essentially with this leo you're just asking for more out of people and like those that don't provide that you end up just kind of reclusing away from them because it's just like oh they're no longer that's no longer what have you right that's no longer part of the storyline that's no longer 
like it's just no longer sustaining you you can come off as greedy when it's just like oh this nine cups like yeah that, those nine cups are fine darling but it's not ten cups right and so you can come off as greedy when you're just like oh this is not enough right and someone can say it's like oh you have nine cups and you respond with it's just like yeah but i want ten right and that's what you need to tell yourself leah is just be like yeah i want 10 cups nine nine i'm sure it can it sustains a lot of people and they're the sustained miss leo mr leo for a long time but now mr leo miss leo wants 10 cups and you need to be at peace with that so yeah leo i hope this <laughs> like that mic drum um i hope this reading re was of resonance in some type of way leo if it was be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones resonated and how they resonate um, and then also, Leo, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my tarot, read tarot readings with a friend that you think might be into my videos. But until next time, my beautiful Leo, I love you so much.